Say the name Volvo and most people immediately think of a safe and practical estate. And with good reason, the Swedish company has always been excellent at making them. The latest example is this new V60, which will go on sale in September. It is based on a shortened version of the latest V90s platform, and Volvo is promising that it will set new standards of safety, space, connectivity and luxury. Inside, the V60 adopts the same setup as the V90 and our 2018 car of the year, the XC40 family SUV. It has a digital instrument display and Volvo's portrait infotainment screen. And of course, all of the latest active safety systems are standard. But perhaps most importantly within a state is the size of the boot. And thankfully, the V60s is bigger than all of its contemporaries at 529 litres. The V60 will be on sale as a petrol, a diesel and a petrol electric plug-in hybrid. To find out whether it will be a success, we've invited a group of our readers to view it at Volvo's UK headquarters in Maidenhead. Let's see what they think. So why are you interested in the new Volvo V60? Uh, I thought this was a direct comparison with the C-Class Estates for size and uh, quality and all the rest of it. And uh, I just wanted to have a look at it, see if it was a competitor or trade in the, the C-Class for the next car. Because I'm trying to convince my wife to let me to buy one, so I need to gen up my knowledge and tell her how amazing it is. I've still got an old Volvo S70 from previously. Um, can't see myself parting with it. Um, but that's obviously a saloon, so the estate is the next step for me. Um, I feel it fits better with my lifestyle, what I want to do in the future traveling <laughs> by road so that's really what I want to do. So what what do you like about your your car why, why is it good for you? It, it works on a number of levels um, I've got two kids and we need a family car but the V60 was one of the most stylish estates in its previous guys and looking at this here today they, they've just taken it I think to the next level it, it looks a stunning car. It's technically interesting there's a lot of um, technology in it but I don't know how useful I will find a lot of the technology I, I would prefer to cherry pick it okay so if you if you were to cherry pick the features which ones do you think you would go for the memory seats I would like adaptive cruise and that's I believe not standard on the uh, but that's a pack so because it's a pack with other accessories it becomes expensive certainly not as boxy <laughs> the old image that it has it looks I mean the materials that they've used do look really hard wearing, um, easy to clean as well. So I think they've kept to the core elements. Um, the styling is just another benefit. Um, I'll probably put form <laughs> and function ahead of you know um, the actual aesthetics. So for me, it's absolutely perfect. Is the is having the large boot the priority for you, or is the space inside? Space inside is a, is a, is a real bonus. Um, but the the large boot is when you've got push chairs, when you've got kids suitcases and everything to load up it just makes it very straightforward um, and I, I, I love driving a car that looks good but it's it's got to be easy to use as well um, and that, that's that's certainly a big plus with this. Um. Certainly big enough I think what I also like is just the little features the handy little features around um, seems a little bit crazy saying it but it's when you start using the space um, you feel what you're missing out on um, particularly in this case we can just drop the seats press up a button Volvo is now considered a, a premium uh, brand. Mm -hmm. With comparison to your C-Class, does the interior reflect that positioning? In some ways it does and in some ways it doesn't. And I have uh, regular access to an XC60 Volvo and it's the same thing there. Some things are, some things aren't. I don't think the um, materials in the boot, the boot um, privacy flap and all that, I don't think they're of Mercedes standard. The switch gear certainly seems to be very similar. Uh, and uh, the seats, again, very similar. I think that's a good comparison. The massive step up is the the, the touchscreen um, and the way that sits centrally and it's it's on first look it's usability and it looks easy to use um, it looks straightforward um, but it, it just when you when you sit behind the wheel of a Volvo you, you just feel 
you feel safe, you feel relaxed, um, and it actually makes driving a pleasure. So, you know, we do quite a few long journeys to see friends, and with a young family safely inside, actually driving with a young family it isn't, isn't as hard as sometimes it can be made out to be. So, On a day-to-day -day level, mm -hmm. um, having premium is great, but having something that's easy to look after as well, nice and easy to clean, you know, nothing that's, like, again, going back to carpet, nothing where you put, dirt in it and it never comes out so sticking to the Volvo principles and its core values it is definitely premium but still hard wearing uh, does feel robust definitely robust um, as for under the bonnet uh, you can have petrol diesel or actually a plug-in hybrid um, which option would you be looking at at, at present it, it would be it would be diesel um, I know there's been that sort of political and, and mainstream media upheaval about diesel cars but um, we find it incredibly economical we do long journeys in our existing car it's 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 a diesel um, controversies aside I always back back to people who say about diesels at the minute these new models are going to be top of the line in terms of their environmental focus is there any other features that you particularly like or dislike that we haven't mentioned already in terms of probably dislikes is um no uh, space saver coming as standard. It is okay. an optional extra because I've always been used to having a spare wheel and I know manufacturers going for the fuel economy that they want. I'd always take the hit on fuel economy to have that safety net of a spare wheel. But the other thing that I really like is the headlights. As well as doing a lot of driving on motorways, I do a lot of driving on country roads, A and B roads, um, with the winters as they are around here. Um, it is nice to have that feature. And again, on country roads, you don't always necessarily have the time to drop from the high beam to, the, to your main beam. So uh, having the function where it does it itself, it's just another one thing less to worry about. My impression is it's a new generation of car and the, the instruments are uh, very impressive where they're on a screen rather than individual instruments, but they're crystal clear. And the, the same with the centre console information there is, uh, again, a, a, a new generation of clarity and uh, convenience. I think that it's very good. Like the um, ability to wave your foot under the uh, under the, the rear and automatically open the boot. Um, the amount of times I've been caught out with a few shopping bags and kids in tow, so that, that's probably a, a handy little bonus. Um, I, I can't see or think of anything that I actively dislike at present. If you were to give this car a star rating out of five with no halves upon this first impression, what would you give it? Um, four. Four? What could make up the last star? More, I think, just the choice of the technology or, or the, the standard fitting of technology, what, what, what you specify. Um, I'll go for four out of five stars. Okay. Um, the little, the missing bit is obviously the driving element, mm -hmm. but as it stands, um, definitely four out of five stars. I think it's. So if it was good to drive, you would, you could possibly give it a five or. Yes, definitely. With the wheels options that I've seen, it's. Um, I'm still looking for that comfort element. Mm. Um, I prefer the comfort side rather than sportiness. Uh, trade that quite happily. So, yeah. If again, if it's remained to the Volvo core values, absolutely five out of five then. At the opening, conceding that I already own a V6, so this is five out of five. I think it's an absolutely fantastic car. Mm. Um, and as I say, I've now just got to convince my wife to let me go out and get one. Okay. So a really positive reaction to the new V60 there from our readers. If you would like to find out more about this car and indeed many others, make sure to check back to whatcar.com. And remember that if you are in the market to buy a new car, you can do so online and save thousands with what car buying.